Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you how to conquer Nightmare Mode. Now, for this I'll only be covering sensors and I will not be covering the Imaginite Crystals. The reason why is because, well there's almost infinite combinations for the elements in Battle Class. Um, creation crystals to make your own characters from and so I can say like uh, this is how an earth bow slinger plays like and it's like I didn't make an earth bow slinger so this is not helpful so let's do sensors I mean literally the stat pack literally comes with them so I thought yeah <laughs> thought they'll be the best ones to do I'll show you a few Stay characters frosty. and how to utilize them so they work on nightmare mode. So, first one I want to show you guys is Kingpen. He comes with a game and a chain is only as strong right. as its weakest stat point. And this is what you want to utilize, Frost Breath. This can stun enemies by freezing them solid. So, let me show you that. This is on nightmare mode. Surprise I'll talk for us the game then. <laughs> yeah, nightmare mode there. I have won this battle before so, it even Oh, Vulture's in, Baby Vulture's not a good way to show it off. Uh, let's just... Let's just quickly kill him. Uh, I don't think you can freeze the... Oh, you can. So you can freeze him solid, but I just get a free hit. Another good way to win is just to kill him. Yeah, you can use Kingpen's Freeze Breath to stun enemies. I'll show you another Star Pack character you can use to stun enemies, which is Golden Queen. She has a very similar ability. Alright, so this is Golden Queen. Um, Numbers go to Golden you Queen, you can find Golden Shockwave. This is very important because it turns enemies to gold. Another upgrade you want to utilize is Gold Rush. As well as um, Colossal Scarab. Uh, because this, because combined this with Blinded by Gold, it allows you to slow down enemies and also stung them in place. So freeze them in gold. And then you can slow them all down like that. And it will slow them down for a brief amount of time. And if you do that, you can slow them down for an extended period of time. Slowing them down isn't that long, but you can stun them in place. And you can, if you want to, you can spam that attack. And pretty much keep them stun locked. It doesn't work against the biggest enemies, but you can use that to your advantage. Um, who else can I show? Oh yeah, here's Mr. Cat. Um, Mr. Cat's one of the hardest hitters in the game, so he's a pretty good one to use. The master of mystery. So for Mr. If you got Mr. Cat, you've hmm, likely got him on the wrong puzzling. path. You want to put him on the bottom path. If you, a lot of YouTubers say this is the best path. I mean, look at it. Wow, primary. Wow, it does slightly more damage. Isn't that amazing? Um, no, it's not amazing. This is amazing, this path. Watch this. Enemies don't know where I am. Behind you. <laughs> and send out your copycat. Hey, come over here. really really powerful because if you utilize your stealth you will be completely invisible no enemies can see you and then BAM straight up 500 damage nasty and on top of that if you've got any copycats active they'll seek out enemies and do just under 300 damage each you can have three active at once on this path because of this upgrade here Look, three copycats makes your explosion stronger. So powerful. Not to mention your decoy explodes for the same amount of damage. You're just going to have a huge AoE explosion that does 
just so much damage. If if you're really lucky, you can do over a thousand damage with a with a single attack. It is absolutely absurd. All right, another character. Another character you could take advantage of is da da da. This is another Ready one of my go-to characters, Boom Bloom. What does Boom Bloom have? Well, high damage. Very high damage. So use a soul gem, Must which is to blossom and grow. Uh, which is petal to the metal. And if you put them on the bottom path, which gives you this hungry herbivore plant, use your soul gem, like so. And then put the plant in the face. That Huzzah kills everything. It is insanely who, powerful. Those baddies had a chest full of um, you might be interested. Still not in. still not satisfied with this. I can give you another character. Obviously the obviously by the way, all these guys are gonna be the strongest if you max them out at level Set bar bound. at level twenty. Another character? Yeah, another character. Quiver with fear. Uh, you can use his bookshot. Bookshot is one of the, like, not amazing characters, like, compared to the others, but he's still very powerful. Uh, let me find more enemies, because it looks like I'm killing them all very quickly. Um, let's go over here. Yeah. Surprise attack. So. Alright. So, you want to utilize the goat pulse. This is an escape move, but if you combine it with this bomb path, you can and the soul gem, you can have loads of portals out to at once, and then you can detonate them at any point by using your boomerang. And there's a few easy ways you can do it as well, which I'll show you. So you can stung them all with the, as you enter an next Wait for it. Bam. An easy way to do the explosion is to shoot your boomerang, teleport, and then do that. And you'll cause an explosion at your feet. Very easy way to kill enemies on nightmare mode. Another character, another character we can show you is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, it's Tycoon Crow. Face me? Um, what can I say about Tycoon Crow? Who well, he's overpowered. He doesn't have much health, but he does a lot of damage, which is why I recommend using him for nightmare mode. Um, you can spawn buzzer beaks, which are a nice distraction. Big Mama does a lot of damage uh, to a lot of enemies. Triple kicks is where it's at, though. Yeah, the Chromander path is easily the best. This might sound tempting, guys, the top path, like triple shurikens. But the thing is, is that the shurikens are too... They're too split up for them to not be able to... They just miss. That's all they do, they just miss. And if they hit, it's because they ricochet to other enemies. It's not that strong. It looks strong, but against bigger targets, even if you're like really close to them, you're only going to hit one shuriken at once. I don't know why there's a set limit, but there is. This is rubbish. Um, this attack is even more likely to for some of the shurikens to miss. Um, it does a 20 additional damage, like big whoopie do. You know, I can send out another barrage of shurikens for more damage rather than charging it for a burst of five. And the ground swords are strong, but they just take so long to use. It's just not worth it unless you're shooting it through a flame streak. Then they do like tons of damage, but it's still a long charge and it's difficult to set up. But yeah, triple kicks is a lot quicker. Uh, Blizzard Beaks will do a lot more damage for you because they're just, they're just so strong and the Fury Beak should not be underestimated. It is brutal. So let me show you. <laughs> So set your, set your buzzer, buzzer beaks and they go on a rampage on the own. The only downside with the buzzer beaks is they don't have a lot of health, so they can be quite easily defeated by shockwave attacks that the enemy can do. The other triple kick, which I've got good knockback and do a lot of damage. And your shurikens are still viable, like they still do a lot of damage. You can take down these enemies fairly easily. Obviously, if you use your fire kick, you can kill them a lot quicker with your shurikens. Huzzah but if you've got your buzzer beaks active, you're just going to completely annihilate everything. Assuming you can keep those buggers alive, they can do a lot of damage. 
So yeah, I need to find more enemies because I've got way more Skylands to show. New brawler weapon. I want to show as many strategies as possible uh -huh. with as many different characters as possible. Um, where to go next? Let's go. Oh, I should, probably should just go to the arena. Battle. So yeah, there's a few more characters I want to show strategies of. So that there are just a handful already. There's even more you can utilize. Um, so, oh yeah, and the reason why well, well, well. I want nice to go show again, as many characters as possible like is so you guys have as many up. strategies to use as possible. Because we're just uh, one character. There's going to be that one okay, person in the comments right that I'm going to go. I don't have that character. <laughs> don't have him. Doesn't help. Even though I should have two start pack characters right at the start. There'll be that one person. They'll be like, I got the game second hand. Yeah, Dr. Crankcase. Um, throw your box down. Oops, got hit. Yeah. Yeah, you want to detonate your box because they actually stung enemies when they detonate. He got stung then. So you just throw your hat, hat box down, like, you just do your battle normally. Spin into your box every now and again, and they'll burn out, and they'll just keep stunning enemies over time. That's what, that's the way you can use Dr. Crankcase. Um, there's a few more. Ambush is one of the easiest ones to use for stunning. Um, let me show off Ambush. By the way, Dr. Crankcase is going to be easier to use if you've got the, um, the bomb path. Because you can su summon more at once, but for ambush, you want to take advantage of splitting punch. It's a lot easier to stun though if you get this upgrade on the bottom path, the sharing tree, because it adds an area effect at the end, which will make it a lot easier to stun enemies. So, chompy uh, mage dying, chompy's dying on it, so they're useless. Let's kill them. This could be going better. Give me an enemy I can stun. <laughs> there we are, there's an enemy I can stun. What you want to do is you want to charge into them with a circle and they'll get stun. Like so. It do not stun that long, but it's a way you can stun enemies. And it does give you an opportunity to stun them and get a free hit in. Um, other characters you can use for stunning um, is. Have a look. <laughs> I've got so many, it's unbelievable. Oh yeah, new character. Not a lot of you guys will have him, but he has a he has a combo that can stun enemies. Which you can use. So yeah. So you get blasted from. Uh, you wanna use that combo. He died very, very quickly though. Yeah, as you can see, guys, the most effective way to not to conquer nightmare mode is literally to kill your enemies before they can hit you. Oh, come on. There we are. Alright, so. Like so. See all those enemies that got stung? And you can knock them in the air too, that's another way to do things. So. Yeah, Blast Run has really good combos for keeping enemies at bay. More strategies you can use. Um, bad Juju. Yeah, sure, Bad Juju. Bad Juju is amazing for stunning enemies. And I'll show you the best path for Bad Juju by far is the bottom. Child Protection. Think you're going to get hit? Call Juju Jr. back and you'll completely nullify all the damage from that hit. Very useful. But the main thing we're looking at though is the main attraction. When sent out, Juju Jr. pulls enemies towards him before doing the damage. I know you're thinking Nitro. How does this help me? Let me get to that. Overeating. Right. Com what do you get when you combine something that pulls all the enemies towards uh, Juju Jr. and the ability which allows you to send lightning bolts to Juju Jr. That's right, you get a stun lock. There's a lot of enemies. Just spam it! Haha, <laughs> kill them all!
die. Easy. Easy. One of the best for doing that. Other characters you can use um, is Airstrike. You can use Airstrike too. He's really good in Nightmare Mode. Yeah. But what you want to do for him is you want to send your eagle out and just send the charge feathers everywhere and they're just strong enemies. And just keep spamming it. You can also send them up while you send out the eagle too. And enemies will just get stung. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he can stung enemies. And he's very easy to stung enemies with too. Enemies will not be able to touch you. Um, other characters... By the way guys, we're not running out of strategy. There's plenty of characters that can do stuff with. Pinata, very popular character. Alright. Let me show him off. So for Pinata guys, what you want to do is you, you want to pick the top path. You really if you're struggling with Pinata, it's probably because you went with the bottom path and you keep using this which makes you idle. You don't want to use the candy laser. I mean, being idle is not a good thing. <laughs> because you can't cancel this move. Which is my biggest problem with this path. Um, this might sound like a really nice thing to have, but... What good is reducing 200 damage to 100 is going to be? It's still a nasty amount of damage. And this, you'll get it very infrequently. Because it takes so long to go through all the lollipop effects do you finally get this specific lollipop? Nah, nah, nah. What you want to do is you want to go for this path because you get this, which lollipops break much faster. A lot of lollipops either stung enemies, knock them away, shock them, or freeze them. Getting those effects quicker is going to help you a lot. Another thing you want to go for, another good thing with this is the party mode. I don't think I need to explain why. You can literally read what it does and then you'll go, ah, that's pretty useful because it's just so obvious. And it's after every lollipop break. Look, take less damage. The shield makes it so you take 50% less damage. Take less damage, take less damage. Specific lollipop you need to break. Every lollipop you break. It is not hard to work out that this path is better. Also, Sour Sucker. Lollipop Slam gives you a Sour Sucker. This is really powerful, and it actually shocks enemies, which is why you want to go for this path. There's so many good effects you want to take advantage of. I mean, let's be real. Lollipops break much faster. Useless Pinata that spawns when you defeat an enemy. Um, yeah. So, with Pinata, another thing you want to take advantage of, forgot about it, is this. The answer is and this. Unlimited. is annoying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, distracts enemies. Yeah, take advantage of that. Very powerful. So you can send out these. And the enemies will be distracted. And they also do decent damage too, which is nice. Yeah, but slam the ground. So you can take advantage of the shockwave effect. That's what I do all the time. So you can take advantage so freeze enemies. Slow them down. Yeah, d don't be afraid to waste hits in order to get your lollipops to break faster. It is a very easy way to get your lollipops stronger. Because, let's be real, I'd rather do a lollipop effect that does loads of damage or freezes my enemies rather than just do a regular hit that will probably get me hit back in return. Because, let's be honest, Pinata does have, doesn't have a lot of knockback. So yeah, that's a, that's a way to use Pinata. Alright, we've still got a few more characters to cover. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do Wildstorm. Wildstorm's a very easy one. So yeah. Wildstorm. Another easy character to use. He has a lot of versatility and not a lot of people take advantage of it. Unfortunately, it's annoying. This is the path if you want to pick for Wildstorm if you play Nightmare Mode. 
This path might seem good too, but honestly guys, it's it's not. More damage on your sword. Pretty good start. Umtend air. Yeah, this is not that good. And that is useless. Because it just takes... I rarely ever get to the headbutt with my sword. I usually have to retreat because I'm about to get hit before I even get anywhere near the headbutt. So how often am I going to utilise the combo at the end? Not very often. And when I do utilise it, it only did 29 damage anyway. So... Meh. Not bad, we're alright, but... Well, Storm has a secondary ability, which has got superb knockback anyway. So, what we're going to utilize in, we're going to be utilizing the secondary attack, obviously. This is called Lightning Bolt. And you also want to use Uproar, because this is another good ability, which works really well with the secondary. So, yeah, you want to go for the bomb path for Chain Lightning. This, allowed, this makes it so you can hit more enemies with this attack, and because the knockback is so good, you want that, basically. An electrical storm is a nice is a nice thing when you're surrounded. So just spam this and just knock your enemies out of the ring. Or just keep them away from you. Very easy to utilize. Again, enemies you can't knock away. Use the uproar and then hit them with hit them with lightning bolt and you'll stun them by shocking them. So yes, it's an easy way to do it. Also, probably the easiest way to get yourself out of harm's way is to use your Sky Chief, because you can kill all your enemies quickly, so... Yeah, that works too. So that's the way you can use Wild Storm. Um, who else? Just got all my characters in a pile. Um, yeah. What about a strategy for Tidepool, eh? Tidepool, another really good character. We would have thought that all the sensors were amazing, except It'll maybe in a lot of you. Yeah, there's a few that are not that useful, but Tide Pull is really good. I think I can make so for Tide Pull, you want to go for the Bomb Path, because of these two upgrades. This one's cool too, does a lot of damage, but these is what's going to keep you safe in Nightmare Mode. This makes it so you can push back more enemies at once. It's like Triple Lightning Bolt, except, it's f except the whales instead of the Lightning Bolts. I know, it's weird to picture, but just think about it like that. And the Whirlpool will actually keep your enemies trapped in it. And they'll just keep spiralling it, in it. And the Whirlpool actually lasts a really long time uh, for what it is. Um, Damage-wise, it's not amazing, but it does damage, which is a nice thing on top of that. And basically... Because there's only one enemy. Yeah, they're pushing back. And then it gets trapped in a Whirlpool. Yeah, then you can push him back again, and he's back in the whirlpool again. Have fun, have fun in the never-ending void until you eventually die. Uh, oh, he died. That's not cool. But, yeah, that's a uh, tide pool, so you can use your whirlpool, and keep yourself safe. Um, is a character I don't recommend use at all because his damage, damage wise, is not that great. But yeah, it's Starcast. A shot in the I honestly dark. thought this guy was going to be better, but he just doesn't do enough much damage. Like, he has good abilities, it's just his damage is just awful. But yeah, you shot a decoy because the enemies can't see you while you're doing it. Against Sheep Roots, this home. is really ridiculously yeah, overpowered. Because sheep roots move quite slow, so just do that, and your sheep roots will pretty much never hit you. So yeah, so the biggest problem with this character though is he just does not kill fast enough. He just takes too long to do anything with him. I mean, look how low his damage is, and he doesn't even shoot that fast either. But yeah, that's him. Use your shadow decoy. Flare Wolf. I haven't played with Flare Wolf in ages. <laughs> it was one of my first characters I've ever picked up to. Flare Wolf. What's good about Flare Wolf is you don't even need to pick a path for him to be good in the mode. Just keep utilizing the dash. Because he has not that. And that is good. 
for the path you probably want to will want to get this path because you get the sparklers this adds a little bit of damage but it mostly increases the knockback on this and you see how far that she that mage went flying i don't know why you're laughing i'm gonna be the one who's been gonna be laughing at this point uh but yeah uh just keep using your dash uh when you're getting uh dangers where you should be easy easy enough to avoid um damage um who else should we show who haven't we done yet let's do yeah all right we'll do one more which is cortex <laughs> now Cortex has a very underestimated path, like no one ever picks it, you can I hear don't know why, smarter. but it's wonderful wizardry. Guys, what the hell is wrong with you? If you don't like this path, like, why don't you like it? This path is amazing. I mean, look, this attack does a lot of knockback, increase its range. Make it so if it blocks a projectile, you pretty much... No, oh, it's difficult to explain. I think it's best to just show you. But you can control it. I mean, what's wrong with this? This path is excellent. What's wrong with it? I don't know, but here's a good example. See this guy? He's about to wreck me, right? Nah. Bro, do your worst. <laughs> yep, that works against... Doomlanders and pretty much everyone. Um, you can also use it to not enemy that. Like so. Just knock enemies around, it's all good. Can't touch me. Maybe knock them out the arena if you're feeling me. Yeah, we're just against all projectiles, so you can block that. And these mages are just gonna be like, I will kill you eventually. This oh, is yeah. a good idea. Yeah, no, just... I'm pretty sure he can't hear you. <laughs> Alright, they're not showing projectiles and monsters anyways, but whatever. So yeah, dot dot your cortex. If you absolutely hate those annoying sheet mangers that just slow you down, shoot those annoying projectiles, that is a really good way to deal with it. Side note, Blastertron does have as a side note, you can also use Blastertron or Hudsicle. Uh, because Blastertron has his like spear attack which can slow down projectiles if they get caught in the dome. Slow down projectiles are going to be easy to avoid. They're going to stay there longer though, which is the downside. But yeah, that's one way you can deal with it. But also uh, with Hudsicle, uh, when you... Oh yeah, I'll show one more. Let's show Hudsicle. Because you have to pick a specific... Because you have to pick a specific path for that ability. So I'll just show you Hudsicle. But yeah, this is a lot of strategy that you can use in Nightmare Mode. If you want to see a, a part 2, um, if you want to see a part 2, guys, make sure you like this video. And it will make me want to make a part 2, but yeah. What we're looking at, though, for Hudson Kill, though, is the third upgrade. Wait, no, wait, no, second upgrade, sorry. Um, do you see that in the second line? Projectile deflection. That's what we're looking at. So, yeah. You just want to collect your dark, dark, dark remittons. And you'll get this cool saber. Oh, wait, I didn't collect enough. You must collect. I only collected four. Yeah. Here, you come, yeah, here comes these tornadoes. Reflect them straight back. Right. I, don't know, guys, I don't know if you guys saw that. So, let me just collect them again. Ooh, perfect. Here's a guy with a laser ball. Alright, I'm gonna collect my Dark Remingtons. Where? I didn't time it right. There, hit him. There. So yeah, that's what's cool. Um, so yeah, there are a few characters, guys, that you can use in Nightmare Mode. And there are a few strategies that will keep you alive. Feel free to like this video if this helped you. 
if you guys want to see a part two make sure you like this video because if you like the video this will give me well well this will let me know that you want to see another video well duh the reason why I made this video is because I, I was looking at comments on other videos not particularly mine but I saw that people were struggling with nightmare mode they didn't they just didn't know how to do it but here you go guys these are a few tips and if none of these tips help you then uh, I don't know GG anyway it's getting light um, so my commentary is going to get all over the place if I don't end the video soon because I'm getting quite tired but anyway guys this is this is it for me to for me today. Uh, this is the last upload. As a side note, guys, let me know um, what characters you want to see for Path Guides next. I've got a few ideas on who to on who to bring out next. I'm planning on bringing out Ambush next. Maybe Ambush. I don't really have that many more characters in mind, but if there's anyone specifically, anyone, with a few exceptions, which are the ones that are not out yet, but anyone else, feel free to let me know, because, because I don't know what people want. Alright, I'm a small YouTuber, I don't usually get, um, I don't really get, I don't usually get much activity in the YouTube comments, so I don't know what people want to see. So, let me know. Please, it will make my life so much easier to fulfill what people want. It will make my life easier, it will keep you happier. Just, please, I need communication. I need it so bad in order to keep, uh, in order to stay relevant. I need this information, guys. I want to see what you want to see. Also, guys, let me know if you did like the gameplay of Blastertron and Tidepool. Uh, let me know what you think about them, too. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. It's getting really late. I shouldn't have not been recording at this time, especially at 11 o'clock in the afternoon. That is a bad idea. I need sleep. <laughs> Good job it's the bank holiday, right? But anyway, guys. Now I... <laughs> now I am definitely ending the video here now, guys. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Ending the video now. See you guys. Bye.